Is it okay if we don't crack open a laptop today? Let's kind of have a little heart to heart here. I want to talk about the day that really my life changed forever. You know, it's funny because as a, as a person, I don't know if like I'm a natural entrepreneur. I was one of those guys that sold like candy and like middle school and stuff, but like not like you know, the candy they give you, like the chocolates, but I like actually would go to Sam's Club and I would buy bulk size candy and then start selling it to all of my friends and family and stuff. And then they like almost kicked me out of school uh, because I guess that's illegal or whatever the case is. But definitely not like a natural entrepreneur, but there was this one moment in my life where, you know, somebody, uh, you know, fired me, right? And it, it was just like this big event for me. And, you know, it's kind of like shameful because especially if like you like the job, right? Like, so like, some jobs I got fired from, I didn't really care, right? It's like, whatever. But, you know, this job, like, I really wanted it. And not only did I really want it, but I really needed it. Uh, and it kind of, like, really changed my life um, in a direction of, like, hey, I, I just, like, I got fired from the serving job. And I was like, all right, I'm going to make money. Like, I'm just going to try to make money on myself. I'm going to pay the rent myself. I'm going to do everything, you know, off the muscle. And I did. Uh, and I did for a while, for like a couple months. And then I started going broke. Um, and, you know, this is where the kind of crypto story uh, starts. So yeah, take a deep breath, relax, get a cup of coffee, get some water or something. Take, just take a second uh, because we're going to we'll get story time. Okay, we're story time. So, you know, getting fired from my job, three months kind of hustling, basically, uh, buying random things, selling it on eBay. You know, I made this business called I Buy Rotten Apples. Uh, and I used to buy old cell phones, some specifically, you know, iPhones, and then I would fix them up and then I'd sell them on eBay. And I was making pretty good money. Uh, it just got like, I didn't know anything about business and it was kind of hard. And then, you know, it, it got to this moment where I had like $5,000 to my name, like just like 5K. And I promise I'm going to teach you something. It's going to be really insightful. Uh, but I had like, you know, $5,000 to my name. And I was like, you know what? Like, I'm going to have to get a job. Like, I just can't pay rent. Like with all of uh, you know, everything added up, it was like $2,500 a month. I have like two months left. You know, I'm not trying to be homeless or get evicted. So, uh, you know, I said, you know what, I'm gonna get a sales job. And, and I did. And, and you know, in the process of me, you know, taking a drug test and going through all this paperwork and then like the week process, you know, that they have when you first get hired from a job or whatever, you know, I actually uh, bought uh, two Ethereum mining rigs. So I got half of the money from my parents and I took the other 5K and I bought two like fully tricked out six GPU mining rigs. Uh, and I remember like clearly it was literally minting one ETH every single day. I was getting like, I remember ETH was like three to $7 or something. Uh, and then like after I looking at all my purchases, actually I looked at it recently. I was bought, I like when I, with my purchases and the accumulation of ETH, I purchased like 350 ETH at an average cost of like $20. It was like ridiculous. Right. Um, and you know, I'm getting this Ethereum and, and on the first day, right? So I, I hop in, uh, you know, my sales job or whatever. And, you know, it's I'm all happy and ready to go. Um, there was like a month of training, but like the first day where I actually was put on the line to sell. Um, and it wasn't like, it was like high pressure sales. It was like, you know, Verizon contracts, not really sales, like kind of like customer service or whatever. And, you know, I'm talking to my boss you know, the big guy, right? Like the real big boss, like not like, you know, like my manager, but like the boss boss, right? Uh, he ran multiple uh, districts, right? And and they were talking about investments. I remember like it was yesterday. They were talking about, uh, you know, I, I forgot what, I don't know if it was the ruble, which is funny. I don't think it was the ruble. It was something. It was like a, some some currency that collapsed that they wanted to buy. Uh, and then, uh, you know, it was going to come back or whatever in the future. Um, and I just told him, I was like, hey, you ever heard of this thing, Ethereum? It was a crypto. And they looked at me like I was crazy. They looked at me like I was a scammer, guys. I was literally a scammer. Um, and, you know, that I really remember that because, you know, I really, really remember that because, you know, moving forward, I ended up being one of the best salespeople in their company, um, you know, and really moved up the ranks. Um, and then all of the money I made off the Ethereum mining rig while I was at work and the Ethereum mining rig was printing money at home. I made way more money, even though I was a top sales. I was playing like 10K a month. I was grabbing like 10K in commissions a month. It was like the greatest money I've ever had in my life. I've never seen this type of money in my life. And I made way more money, like a significant difference. Investing in cryptocurrency with the miners, and then also I would take my paycheck and buy and just dump it into Ethereum. I made way more money. And like nine months later, I remember the same boss, the same dude, I was talking to him and I was like, 
you know, uh, you know, I don't think I'm gonna work here anymore. Like I'm making way more money doing other things, it, which was, by the way, it was a stupid decision at the time because uh, you know cryptocurrency crashed later on or whatever the case is. But you know, he was he was like, you know what, I'm into trading too, and I was just like, <laughs> you know, it's really funny, you know, when you're really far ahead of the curve. It's almost like to a certain extent, you got to look uh, for people to disapprove of what you're doing because if everybody just approves of what you're doing, um, you know, it's kind of like you're doing something wrong. Like you have to be in some cases, the odd man out. Now you could take this a really bad way, uh, which is again, the first lesson that I want to teach you guys here, do the exact opposite, what everybody else is doing. But there's, there's kind of like a, a little like disclaimer at the bottom, make sure it's not too crazy. Right? So like, you know, cryptocurrency, I was pretty confident about, like I've researched it pretty thorough. I, I knew a lot about it and I, I, I thought it was the greatest thing in the world. Like I, I knew it was pretty good. Right. Now, there's other things that are just kind of really crazy. Like, if you want to, like, spend your life dedicated to making money off of finding aliens, like, I don't know. I can't help you with that. But it's almost like you don't want to be, like, extremely crazy, but you want to be first to where the common person, you know, will, will tell you no, right? So let me tell you something that the common person thinks you should be doing, trading cryptocurrency, and why a lot of people lose so much money, and why literally, like, 95% of all traders, you know, end up quitting or losing all of their money in the first year. And this this is why. Um they trade too much. They trade way too much. Now I go back to my history and I look at how much money I made off of Ethereum. It was like literally only Ethereum. It was like only Ethereum. And I look back like the majority of the lump sums of how much money I made, right? Even in, uh, you know, 2021 cycle, right? 2020, 2021 20, uh, cycle, right? With the DeFi boom. I made like the majority of my money off of like Matic is like a hundred X hex, maybe like a ridiculous amount of money urine finance made a whole bunch of money there was like a select few coins it was like less than five that made me the vast majority of my money um and at one point i had almost like 25 coins so this is the first misconception people think that the more you do in cryptocurrency the more you make now this is true in everything in your life like you should do more you should put some more energy into things but when it comes to specifically trading you have to be very careful very careful not to make the wrong decisions. It's not about making the right decisions. It's about avoiding the wrong decisions. That is the answer. It's actually the answer of life, really. If you really think about like how the world works right now, we have too much information. We have so much consumption of information and so many people trying to add more things in our life. And, you know, I've gotten to a point of success where like, it's not that I know everything, but it's like more of like unlearning things that benefits me now. Unlearning things, not doing things is that benefits me way more than doing more. If I do a lot more, it's almost like I lose. Like the more I add on, uh, the more I lose. So again, having more cryptocurrencies, making more trades is not the answer. Another thing I wanna talk about is this concept called clipping. And I talked about it with uh, the people in FS uh, and they really resonated with it. And everyone I talked to about this concept, they really, really resonate with this, right? So I don't know if you guys know what a volume bar is. If you ever edited any vid video in your life, uh, there's essentially this volume bar, right? And if you're speaking too close to the mic, um, it starts turning red in clips. And then if you speak too far away, it's green and you can't really hear the audio. So you got to keep it kind of in a yellow zone, right? Um, and, you know, again, everyone I say tell this, you know, to, they really resonate with it. There's usually two, two different types of people, okay? I'm the guy that clips all the time. I'm the guy that's always constantly red. <laughs> Yep, that's me. Now, the thing about being red is that if you know how audio works, when you clip, you can't get the audio sound back. So you can't like go in, uh, you know, Premiere Pro and, and post edit and fix the audio if it turns red. If it turns red, you're out of luck. You lose the audio, right? Now, on the other side, right, there's some people that never clip, that never push their limit. Some people dream of success while you're going to wake up and work hard at it. Nothing is impossible. And this is kind of like who, like this is for trading. This is for fitness. This is for anything in your life, right? If it works in life, it works in trading. I'm just going to be real with you. What did he say? If it works in life, it works in trading. I know I, I kind of uh, talk a lot about health and stuff like that, but this is all real. Like it's so real. Uh, it might not be like fun and sexy, but it's really real and it really works. So again, if you keep it too green and you never clip, then it's almost like you're, you're not putting in enough effort. And I would say that most people are, are falling in that category and they don't have like the emotional intelligence to push themselves. And what I mean for trading is like, yeah, you could put a lot of time clicking and selling and buying, but what I really mean is you should be educating yourself. 
on a deep level, on a professional level. Like you should know every little detail about blockchain. Most of you, uh, I don't wanna say this because my audience is smart, but a lot of people watching this video don't even know exactly how a blockchain works. Leave a comment below if you even know what a consensus mechanism is. Leave a comment below if you know the max supply of Bitcoin. If you don't know these things, like you are not a professional, I'm sorry. If you don't know what a consensus mechanism is, like you're not. And honestly, that's like baby, that's like preschool, right? So you can put a lot of energy in crypto and not trade, just to be clear. You could put a lot of energy in learning the history of crypto, learning how deep it is, right? So, you know, but then you could be like me, which I do this all the time where I clip and I can't get that time back, right? I can't get that audio back where I'm just putting way too much energy, trying to do way too many things. And I think to a certain extent, what you guys saw on my YouTube, and, and this is why I love these talks because it's just so real. People won't say their faults on the internet. They just won't do it. And this is how I try to separate myself because I know, look, I'm a human being, right? And if you look at some of these guys on the internet, it's like almost like they're perfect, right? And they never do anything wrong. But, you know, I like saying the things I do wrong because I know in the long term, you're going to be able to resonate that and be like, okay, this guy's real. Like, you know, he's not just a God that just gets 100% accuracy on every altcoin pick ever, right? Nobody talks about their losses on the internet because it looks bad and it's bad for branding. But what I think is that it's good for branding because you get to resonate with someone. So my problem, and this is what you guys experience uh, to a certain extent on YouTube and in the FS course, uh, was that I was clipping. I was trying to do too much. I was trying to short-term trade, do this, do that, do podcasts, do this, do that. I was doing so many different things. And it got to a point where I was like really overwhelmed and everything I did was like mediocre, right? That, that's the problem with chasing two rabbits. When you chase two rabbits, you, go, you don't catch either. Both of the things you do suck. If you're trying to chase too many things in your life, everything's going to suck. But what, what I've really noticed, and maybe you notice it on my YouTube channel, I'm really focusing on YouTube, really focusing on making good content for you guys. If you focus on one thing, well, you start doing really well. Right. And, and this is what I, I kind of wanted to do uh, on this YouTube channel. And this is why like, I cut a lot of things out of my life. I don't even have multiple screens. I don't know if you guys remember old Alex where I had like this long screen and then another one at the top and then another sideways one. I literally got rid of all that. Now all I use is a MacBook Pro. That's it. My room is has no video games, nothing, no screens, just clear, less is more type of guy because I have a problem of putting too much energy into things. Right. So it's kind of similar to putting in too many trades and having too many cryptocurrencies and, you know, watching too many YouTube videos. And, you know, like there's a certain point where, you know, less is actually more. You will actually get more out of your investment, out of everything if you just do less. Right. Because, again, if we bring it back to the original, you know, how I made a lot of money, um, you know, I had one coin. I held this one coin called Ethereum for a long period of time. It made me ridiculous percentages. I like, I don't think I 100x with Ethereum, but I made ridiculous percentages, right? And then if I look back into this last cycle, there was like three to five coins that made me the majority of my gains, right? So I'm not gonna make this mistake again, okay? You guys see me talking about top three altcoins. I'll do coin reviews, but in my specific portfolio of buying, I'm not gonna do this, right? And hopefully you can learn from this. Hopefully you don't clip, right? You gotta stay in the yellow zone. Right? You got to put in the energy, but you also have to stay in the game. Don't wreck yourself. Don't make these dramatic emotional trades and lose all of your money and then completely exit crypto and clip, right? That's clipping, right? Where you make this dramatic, like wild uh, decision, right? Don't FOMO, right? So you invest a small percentage of your portfolio. When, when you think something extreme, you should just dial it back a little bit, right? You could even use the 48 uh, hour uh, rule that I use, but I make like a, a wild decision. Uh, if it's like more than like 10% of my net worth, uh, a decision like that, I just think about it for 48 hours before I do it, right? So it's like, you don't need to watch a YouTuber that told you to, you know, FOMO into this coin. You could wait 48 hours and buy it later. Like, even if it pumps, like, it's okay. You can just wait 48 hours, right? And, and these things have helped me over time. I've gotten to a point where, again, like, less is more. Stick to what you know. Stick to what you do, right? You could day trade. There's nothing wrong with day trading. I, I think there's a lot of people are saying that, you know, day trading is horrible. It's not horrible. Like, if you know what you're doing... And, and you're that type of personality type and you're that, is that, you know, there's a specific type of net worth you have to have for that a specific type of skill set. Like day trading's not bad. Swing trading's not bad. Long-term investing is not bad. The point is, is that most likely you are bad. That's the point I'm trying to make. If you're not making money in this market, if you're frustrated, chances are it could be one or two things. You're not putting in enough effort 
and you're in the green zone or you're putting in way too much effort, which a lot of people I see in at Fundamental Secrets and you're clipping and the clipping is making you a mediocre trader. This is real. This is true. So again, a couple of the concepts I want to explain to you guys. Don't over diversify. Don't make too many trades. Relax. Take a deep breath. It's okay. The market will be here forever. The gains will be here forever. And if they're not, there's going to be another thing that's revolutionary that we can jump on board. It's not that big of a deal, right? Do the exact opposite of what the normal person is saying, right? So if your friend has 36 altcoins, you probably shouldn't have 36, right? If your friend thinks that he could trade by himself without like learning anything and have no education, you probably should go get yourself some education. Now, if somebody with credibility is telling you something, then you should listen, right? But I'm talking about the normal people. Do the exact opposite of what the normal people are saying. If everybody's saying to buy ApeCoin, you should probably move away from that. Even if ApeCoin jumps in, in price and, and they're all like, I told you so. Like, that doesn't work long term. Long term, what works is simplicity, clarity, right? Uh, and keeping things simple and elegant. And I think that's what I'm moving into with this YouTube channel, with my course, with my life, with everything. I think I'm getting to the point where, um, you know, becoming like a serious master. Uh, they say that, you know, uh, if you want to become like a professional or a master, you have to practice it for roughly 10,000 hours, which is about three to four years. And I'm way past that point. I'm like at five years at this point, six years. But, you know, cryptocurrency is really hard. And, and I'm getting, again, to a point where... Like, I think I could really make a big impact on the world, guys. I, I really think that I could help people achieve uh, financial independence through cryptocurrency. And I wanted to share that with you guys. Use my lessons to your advantage and grow from it. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with it, you will get left behind. Thanks for watching this, guys. Catch you in the next one.